0.9% APR financing for 16 months with 1748 borrowed on approved credit from Toyota Financial Services. Does not include taxes, license, title, registration fees, and dealer fees. Does not include college guard or military rebate. Varies by region. See dealer for details. All friends 11-121. This is Scott with JNR Collision Centers. During the month of October, at all four locations, we will be wearing pink on Fridays in honor of National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. JNR Collision will also be pledging a portion of each job we schedule throughout the month to benefit the HSHS Women's Wellness Center. Give us a call at 877-525-5722 and let us get your vehicle back in shape as we both help HSHS Women's Wellness Center. The Drive Home is brought to you today by the Gutter Guys and Affordable Home Improvements at 97.9 XFM. Good afternoon, everybody. 4.30 the time here on a Monday. We're rocking and rolling, having a good time here on The Drive Home. Mm-hmm. And, uh, okay, it's Nikki. Preps yes. or Probst? Preps. Okay, Probst. you never know. <laughs> you got to ask. You got to know. I think we pronounce it differently within my family, so it's okay. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, really? Really? But we're the Preps-s-s-s-s and we're the Probst-s-s-s-s, right? Wow. I'll answer um, to whatever. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. We'll just call you Nikki. How about that? That'll work. She's here from HSHS St. Anthony Memorial Hospital, and you're here to Ooh. talk about lymphedema. Yes. And it's pronounced only one way. Yes, it is just pronounced <laughs> one way. <laughs> so lymphedema is just chronic swelling. Um, so it's just caused by an accumulation of protein-rich fluid. Uh, a lot of you know people have it. Um, you can get it on any part of your body. Most commonly, your legs. We see mm-hmm. a lot of patients with lower extremity lymphedema, mm-hmm. um, but we also see patients with lymphedema, you know, in their their face, um, just really anywhere. It could be a pretty serious thing too, can it? It's very uncomfortable. Mm. Um, but even if it's just mild, you know, people don't think that that's something to you know really go to see the doctor about. Like, hey, there is. Things that we can do, even if it is mild, mm-hmm. to help prevent it from, you know, becoming moderate or more severe. Yeah. So what what actually causes it? Um, so it can be caused by a lot of different things. Okay. So trauma, cancer related treatment. So if you had lymph nodes lymph nodes dissected or maybe radiation, you might have even just mild swelling, you know, in your chest. If you mm-hmm. had a lumpectomy, you may have swelling in your breast. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, after a mastectomy, too, um, you you could be born with it. So you could be oh, more really? predisposed to it. Huh. You may not have any issues until you are older, but then something happens that kind of you know, sparks it. Kind of triggers it. Triggers it. Yeah, that's a good word. And um, obesity can be another thing that causes it. Um, Yeah. So there's several things. Many different causes for that. Mm -hmm. But they all lead to uncomfortable and hurting sometimes. And it's just not a good thing to have. It's not always painful, but yeah, it's uncomfortable. The first Hmm. thing that people say is that their limb feels heavy. Or you might notice your shoes don't fit the same. Your rings aren't fitting the same. Um, you you could have skin changes too as it progresses, and that's that is uncomfortable. Your skin needs to move, right? Mm-hmm. So as as we move, our skin needs to move over our joints. So it could become fibrotic. So the treatment that we do can help to reduce that um, that tissue from becoming fibrotic and and make it hmm. make it less fibrotic. How, what kind of treatment are we talking about on this end? Though this is. Very interesting. Did your Google go off, Tanya? It, it heard treatment and um, it I mean, I made sure to put my phone on silent. But. Well, this is on silent, and I don't know. She must have thought we were talking to I her. It's an emergency uh, question. <laughs> Quick, Siri, help us. We're yeah. lost in this What's thing. the treatment? Yeah. Okay, we do what's called complete decongestive therapy that can consist of compression bandaging so with short stretch bandages they look like ace bandages Mm -hmm. Um, we do manual lymph drainage that's a specialized massage to help move that fluid that's in the interstitial space in your leg which is just the extra space in your leg and it helps you just kind of move it and make it kind of dissipate yeah we tell it we tell it where to go yeah oh very nice (laughs) if only right so we um the massage is very light and we just aim for a skin stretch and that helps to put it into the lymphatic vessels which um, then we we guide it towards the heart where it enters your cardiovascular system, 
and then it's going to pass like through your kidneys and it's going to come out through your urine. So you'll have to use the bathroom a little, a little really? bit more there. Oh, but yes. that's a good bathroom. Good that's, a good, that's a good sign. And it's yeah. not like you'll consistently have to go. But after the massage, you know, if you have a drive, you might want to hit up the bathroom before you leave. <laughs> so that's yeah, a good sign. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the bandages, the massage, those are the two main things. We also give out some exercises. So if you have compression on and you are doing your exercises, that helps to move that fluid up and out up to six times faster. Oh, wow. So, you know, you, you kind of think, you know, your leg being wrapped your muscles, they expand whenever that you know, you're know you moving, and there's, so there's less space, and that helps to move that fluid up. It kind of pumps it out, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It's kind yep. of in a way. Yeah, and then we do you know, skin care, you know, things like that. Oh, okay. Is it Talk painful when you do that? No, it feels good. Okay. Uh-huh. Medicare uh, pays. You know, <laughs> That's okay. great. It's a, insurance pays for it, and you know the goal is to reduce the volume of your arm, your limb, wherever. Um, but, yes, it, it should feel good. Yeah. Okay. Very you, nice. You mentioned something a minute or a second ago about um, some of the garments <laughs> in terms of compression. <laughs> yes. Uh, what? I don't know too much about those. I see ads in magazines or something, and there's all these weird things, you know, copper, this. Yeah, those and, football players wear them yeah, all the those time. those crazy yeah. football people. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, what what are the options on that? What's, what's the deal with the compression fittings? So compression garments... With our treatment, there's phase one and phase two. Phase one is compression bandages and the massage. Phase two would be getting the patient um, what they need to be successful at home. Mm. So that includes the compression pump, which um, takes over the role of the massage, and compression garments, which take over the role of the bandages. So compression garments, we, you know, they're called compression uh, stockings too. And there's a lot of different types. So depending on the type of swelling you have, how much, you know, what your skin integrity is, we have custom flat knit garments, which are a little thicker. We have circular Mm -hmm. knit garments, which are kind of more the standard compression garments. And we have kind of a hybrid of in between that. We also use uh, Velcro compression garments, which are just inelastic garments. Very good if you have trouble getting them on. They're Mm. Velcro or if you're really sensitive so, you know, that way you can loosen them hmm. up. Hmm. Um, or if you have a wound, they're great if you... Oh, I bet. Yes. And we work, you know, closely with the Wound Healing Center. So a lot of times we'll get patients referred to get fit for those kind of garments. Yeah, they're trying to hmm. heal the wound and then also trying to get the lymphedema out of there as well. That's Yes, that's and a, that, that helps with wound healing, yeah. yeah very interesting. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I've got problems maybe on a different part of my body. How's the best way to get in touch with you guys to get the ball rolling to get me feeling better? So you just need to talk to your doctor to get an order for OT and uh, for lymphedema therapy. Um, our fax number is 217-347-1558. Or you can just call us if you have any questions at all. Our phone number is 217-347-1243. And we are located at 1301 North Maple Street at the Richard E. Workman Sports Complex. Okay. Nice place. It's nice to work there, isn't it? I love it. It's It's a brand, you know, it's, well, it's five years old now, but I mean. But it's still brand new. It's gorgeous. I feel very fortunate to to be there. Yes. Very nice. Well, pleasure to have you in here today and talking about lymphedema. And hopefully we'll get some people uh, feeling better. Yes, thank you so much for having me. All right, there she is. That's Nikki Preps yep. from HSHS St. Anthony Memorial Hospital talking mm-hmm. about lymphedema. Yes. And uh, sounds like a helpful hand if you need that help. Stick around, more fun coming up. Uh, Greg's News in about 20 minutes from now. Hey, Troy. Yeah? You look good in pink. Thanks. But it's not just Troy. All of our guys and gals are looking good in pink. And this month, in pink. And this month.